I just turn on the stream and the first thing I do is bump the mic. Alright. I think it's time for some fun in Undertale. Because it's just an awesome game, dudes. Alright, let me make sure my controls are good. Give me a sec. Alright. I think I can do this. Yep. Now let's continue. Now we're here. Outside. Lab. Where two gods stand guard. Are they royal gods? Yes. And mind you, I did come up with a pun today. Because of Undyne's love of rocks, you can say no one's bolder than her. Ha ha ha. Horrible. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, uh, like, us rail guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Ms. Undyne. Nothing. Ah, yes, the fairy person. I will worry about them later. First, I must enter the lab. Yeah. It's too dark to see near the walls. It's you? Yep. Nothing here but just a nerd. And then there it is. You in the bathroom. It's Alphys. Oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Um... <laughs> Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal assistant. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, so uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti anti human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a first for thirst for human blood? Hehehe. <laughs> Heh. But. Um, hopefully we won't run into him. Don't you want to tempt fate all the time, Undertale? Did you hear something? I wonder who that is. Oh no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties! To today's quiz show! 
Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Nice clap track. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple! There's only one rule. Answer correctly! Or you die! Metaton attacks. Check Metaton. Attack 30, defense 255. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one! What's the prize for answering correctly? More questions! Right! Sounds like you got it! The quiz show continues. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Asgore Dreamer, correct! What a terrific answer! Enough about you! Let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues, and I keep looking at Alphys because I like knowing the answers. Here's another easy one for you! Two trains, train A, train B, simultaneously depart at station A, station B, station... Blah 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 blah. Wonderful! I'm astounded, folks! The quiz show continues. Because a scientist and a TV host make a great team. Don't count on your victory! How many flies are in this jar? Correct! You're so lucky today! Let's play memory game! What monster is this? I'm so flattered you remembered! The quiz show continues. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Don't you judge me, Alphys. Heck yeah! Great answer, I love it! Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Of course, that was easy for you! Yeah, my tongue is getting buzzed. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulation video game Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite fruit? Oh, another one! The fourth after everyone goes to the beach and I, she buys ice cream for her friends, and, but the flavor is only the ones who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask you a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Let's see. Let's try Asgore. Why would someone an outfit an amusement robot with brutal combat capabilities? Simple. To impress Mr. Asgore Dreamer, of course. Or as Alphys calls him, Mr. Dreamy. Oh my god. Those strong arms. That lustrous beard. Like all those who create weapons, she craves the tender embrace of a burly man. Can she truly be blamed? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Away he goes. Well, that was certainly something. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Huh, how optimistic. Wait, wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. 
But then maybe if you need help, I could. What? Well, where did you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Well, wait a second, please. <laughs> Always gotta love the scream tracks. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends! <laughs> hmm. I'm going into the bathroom. Yellow feet are tapping just beyond the door. It's a bathroom sign. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Whoa, what did I do? Whoops. Accidentally clicked out. There we go. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles. Mmm. Sure. You got the instant noodles. Still, it still looks like Chica on there. It's a bit of figurine of a female human with cat ears. Never mind, it's Mimi who kiss a cutie. Because the nerd like Alphys would be totally a collector of such things. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Yep. Alright, let's explore the updoors. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Let's read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. Ah, uh, just uh, so typical of a fanfic writer. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. Look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. Dragon Meatball Z. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Um, to reiterate, in regards to the Doctor and Derpy stream, I got a newer computer, or rather a used computer, to replace my other one. However, the issue is that I have to start over from the beginning. And uh, that means, like, everything was gone, so... This is a solo stream because I wanted to actually also have a Let's Play of Undertale, a new favorite game of mine, on my channel. So give me just a second trying to adjust to some alignment. Okay, now we're good. So yeah, and now that I got things sorted out, I'm doing a replay of uh, the pacifist run at least because I wanted to kind of see what else I could do besides the original route I took. Because alternative routes are fun and they tell more storyline parts or something like that. Pink goop drips from the strange machine. Pink goop drips from the strange machine that has a face. Looks like Alphys' work table seems dusty. Yep. And what's in here? The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Hello, regroup. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. 
I know what that means. Now it's a lot more depressing. It has to do with what's after a certain flowy fight. It's a lamp with a pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Yeah, because it's easy to draw. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV, from TV Premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Do I get anything by clicking this little area? Nope. So, let us go this way. And there's no Alphys now. So, I think that means... Oh. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Yeah. Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her a bit about it later. Actually, I want to call Papyrus. Ring, ring. Hot land, huh? I know it's like the back of my hand. Which, since I'm always wearing gloves, I don't know anything about. Ring, ring. My large quantity is stagnant. Anything in there I can use? Mm, let's see. Eh, I'll be fine. Alpha's updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. One of my favorite songs in the game. Vulcan strolls in. Let's check. 25 attack, 0 defense, mistakenly believes it's lava can heal people. Uh, I'd say put some water on that burn, but the burn's gonna be worse when it comes to Vulcan. Speed will help dodge! Ah, dang it. Vulcan makes a smoke hoop and jumps through it. Let's encourage. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Oh, crud. Ah, ah, does my best. Okay, I think I'm okay. Vulcan parades around you proudly. That's spare Vulcan. <laughs> Jeez, don't look like you're kind of a happy winner there. Alpha's updated status. Gonna call them in a minute. Yep, in a minute. Okay. Let us get our determination. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. Alpha's updated status. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, Lamau. Well, let's see what Papyrus has to say. Steam vents? Wow, that sounds awful! What if you're wearing a dress? Oh my, Papyrus, I didn't realize that you were a little bit, um, flamboyant and a bit more than I thought. Okay. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. Ring, ring. Glad I don't live in Heartland! Sunderplane gets in the way, not on purpose or anything, Baka. Um, let's check because I can't remember what the description is. Seems mean, but does it secretly like you? 
Maybe. <laughs> no way! Why would I like you? Cinderplane accidentally bumps you with its wing. You get close to Cinderplane, but not too close. Eh? A human? Oop. I didn't realize the flames. Cinderplane accidentally bumps you with its wing. And I can spare Cinderplane. And away it goes. Alrighty, right, right, right. Let's go over. Alpha's updated status. OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna just call. Do it. Ring, ring. Click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Ring. Uh, uh hi. So, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alpha's here. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Uh, orange ones, um, y you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones. Uh, bye! Alpha's updated status. OMG, I did it! Close. Close, I've been shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Alpha's updated status. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Let's come to go through these lasers. Yeah. It's a switch. And I'm gonna press it. The lasers were deactivated. Aw, oh, yeah. Alpha's updated status. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Alpha's posted a picture. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Swagalicious. Ring. Uh, Alpha's here. The, the, the northern door will stay locked until you... to solve the puzzles on the right and left. I... I think you should, should g g go to the right first. Actually, I want to go back real quick because I totally forgot to check the other route that I didn't take. Because I'm an explorer like that. And I just like listening to the song because it's that good. It's hot, land. It's a burning sensation that's sweeping the nation. Especially if it has to do with a pyro. Pyro bounced towards you. Chick. This mischievous monster is never warm enough. Feel the heat. Why does pyro have bombs? Pyro is chuckling through its teeth. When that happens if I invite? You invite Pyro to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. Ah, dang it, stinging bombs. Pyro is chuckling through its teeth. Heat up. You're cranking up the thermostat, and Pyro gets excited. Hot, 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 hotter! Okay, I'm okay. Pyrope wants more heat. Oh my god, it's gonna be hard to see. Pyrope looks red as right. Hot, 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 hotter! Ah! Stinging bomb. The room is sweltering! Spare! You will run! You earn 0 XP and 45 gold! Wiggly voice for wiggly text. 
I don't know. There's a magical thermostat in the battle. It's a room, so the box apparently has some kind of thermostat. Because I think it's kind of cool. Okay. Let's go over here. Um, boop. The frying pan. There's a fry pan on the ground. Thank you for following XX Death the Destroyer XX. Let's take it. Got the burnt pan. Okay, what do I? Oops. Ah, no, 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 no. Well, I'll call Papyrus. I have no idea what I just did. No, I did call Papyrus. Okay. So, the info, burnt pan, weapon, attack 10. Damage is rather consistent. Consumable items heal 4 more HP. Okay, I'll put that on. Alrighty, right, right, right. I equipped the burnt pan. And I totally forgot what I had before. Oh, ballet shoes. Alright. Man, the song is just... It's... It gives me a warm feeling inside. But I'm not on fire. Um, I think she said the left, right? Right? Ring? Uh, Alvis here! That blue lizard seems totally impassable. But, 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 as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll uh, hack into the Hotland laser database and take it out. Click. Finally! Someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles were activated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Hmm. Let us see. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah! I win! Congratulations! <laughs> I could say that was kind of humorous. Oops. The way to work is blocked, so I have time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, now three dozen members. Oh, for updated status. Wonder if I would... Wonder if it'd be unfun if I explain the puzzle. The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle. But I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. Of course not. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the back to complete your mission. Alright. And we win. What do you have to say there, floating foxhead? Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, let me check if there was anything different to be said over here by these two schoolgirls. Okay, nope, same thing. 
Wait a second. Oh, it's summer vacation. Okay. Hmm? Nice try, but your loading technique still needs work. Okay. Let's go up. Epic. Alpha's updated status. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Ring? Uh, I think, um... Hey! About the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but... Uh... You already solved them? Awesome! <laughs> oh no. Here we go again. Ring. Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh no. Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show! Cooking with a killer robot. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today! We're going to be making a cake! My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand! Yeah, clap tracks. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart! Milk, sugar, and eggs! You should be able to find them on the back counter! MTT brand microwave! Origin of the MTT challenge! Put your food in and set the microwave on high for five minutes. If you can still recognize your meal, we'll double your money back! Oh yes, MTT brand ovens can reach temperatures up to 9,000 degrees! Roasting, toasting, burning, charring! You're excited, aren't you, darling? Trademark. As per culinary standard, a death force field <laughs> surrounds the kitchen. Oh dear. Isn't it on both sides? Oh, it is! Milk? Eggs? In the fridge? No way, darling! They get cold! Isn't that kind of the point? You found the eggs. You found the milk. And found the sugar. Perfect! Great job, beautiful! We've got all of the ingredients we need to bake the cake! Milk, sugar, eggs... Oh my, what a magnificent moment! How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient! A human soul! Ring. Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Well, 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 wait a second. C couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan. Oh, well, I mean... Oh, well, that's a great idea! Br brilliant idea, Alphys! Actually, I happen to have an option right here! MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute! A can of which is just over on that counter! Good times. Good times. Well, darling, why don't you get go get it? Oh boy, here we go. Now it's a tower. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Ring. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. F -f -f Fortunately, I might have a plan. 
when I was upgrading your phone, added a few features. You see that huge button that says Jetpack? Watch this. B.A. There! You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there! Let's dodge the ingredients. Oh, dodge the eggs! Dodge the eggs! Dodge the flower! Alright, I'm doing okay so far. Ah, sugar! Okay, I think I'm okay. For a moment. Ah! Damn it, sugar! Too many eggs! Oh, he's getting faster. My, my! It seems you've bested me! But only because you have the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys! Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her! Well, toodles! Oh yes! About the substitution! Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it! Let us just coast on down to the nice ground. Wow! We we did it! We we really did it! Great job out there, team! Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Click. So more game show debauchery with a humorous robot. But not to be confused with our bony buddies. Besides, Sans humor is bone dry. <laughs> Ring. So, so see that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical energy electricity by... Uh, anyway, that's the way we're going to go. And the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. I should probably call Papyrus. Ring ring. Oh, there's no response. Okay. For the love of the core. Get some elevation. Let's go to left floor one. I'll board the Wonkavator. Okay, the path is clear. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Labor laboratory entrance. I want to see if Alphys is somewhere to be seen. Alphys, you home? Hello? Anywhere? Hello? Hello? No one here? Okay. See you later, Alphys. Alrighty, right, right, right. Let's go up. And over to right floor two. Nice shaky elevator. Always gets my stomach churning. <laughs> I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name, Heat's Flamesman. Thank you for following, uh, following Scoodoodle, Scoodaloos. snow on this guy's roof? Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Toasty bun. 
Toasty bun. Toasty bun. I love hot dogs. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's always too lazy to clean anything off. Hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? Let's relish this moment, shall we? Because I have all the time in the world to say, sure, okay. It's only 30G. Yeah, why not? Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. It's short for hot dog. Hey, buddy. What's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Hmm. You're holding too much. Guess I'll just put it on your head. Here's another hot dog. It's on the house. Well, no. It's on you. Here, have fun. Here, have fun. Let's keep the stack going. Let's go, 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 come on, I can do it, I can do it, yeah, come on, yeah, oh my god, almost there, got enough hot dogs to go all the way to the ceiling, as much as I like putting hot dogs in your head, 30 is just an excessive number. 29? No, that's fine, but 30... Does it look like my arms can reach that high? How did your arms reach before? Careful. 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 Oh my god! I lost my wieners. Oh god. Why did I lose my wieners? That was so inappropriate, I'm sorry. Alpha has posted a picture. Dinner with a girlfriend. Winky face. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Cool Skeleton95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here's me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Alpha's updated status. Lol, Cool Skeleton 95. That's a joke, right? Cool Skeleton updated status. The only joke here is how strong my muscles are. Which means they are not strong at all. Let's call Papyrus and see what he has to say. Papyrus? Who is that? Nice sunglasses. This is Cool Skeleton 95. Sorry, can't talk. I'm busy being popular online. <laughs> Only kidding, you've been had. It was Papyrus playing a simple gentleman's ruse. Oh, Papyrus, you precious cinnamon roll. Ring, ring. Wink. You can see me winking, right? Oh, Papyrus. Oh, yep. I can see you winking. Oh. Hello! Totally something I wasn't expecting. Art Club, meet here. Next meeting, October 10th, 8 p.m. Okay, I probably should have done something on October 10th. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Oh, jeez. I guess there's no meeting for now. Naps to Block 22, I sent you a friend request. Accept the request? I would love to accept a request from the ghost. It seems to have re already rejected itself. Poor Blukey. Poor little Blukey. Such a precious ghost. Also a precious cinnamon ghost roll. Or something like that. There's an apron lying on the ground. I don't see any lions around here. <laughs> Will you take it? I'll take it. You're carrying too much. Oh yeah. Oops. Hot dog? Hot dog heals 20 HP. The meat is made of something called a water sausage. Whoops. I'll leave it at for just a moment. Let's get our uh, thing put away. 
Um. Okay. Let's take it. We got the stand apron. Whoops. What's the info for the stand apron? Armor uh, defense 11, heals 1 HP every other turn. Yeah, I'm equipping that. You equipped the apron. All right, let us go. Ring. Uh, hi, it's Dr. Alphys. I know So Sorry is over in uh, One Direction, but I'm a little bit late for it. And this puzzle is kind of um, timing based. You, you see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. I'll try to help to help you with the rhythm. Click. Nah! Okay, now press the third one. Hey, hey, hey! Looks like you only needed to press two of them. Yeah, way to cover your buns there, Alphys. Yeah, but if you get two toils together... Oh, man, I already killed the joke. Whoops. I guess that's, what prob that's the problem with tutorials. They always get in your way. <laughs> no, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean that. They're, tutorial's not in the way. She's a precious scope mom. She's a precious cinnamon butterscotch pie. Alpha's updated status. That's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle, Lamau. Oh boy. Ring. Ah, uh, uh, hey. I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. Yeah, totally. Click. Let us go. Up. Down. Uh. See if I can do this. Um, dang it. I am totally missing something here, and it's annoying the crap out of me. Uh, I'll get it, eventually. Yeah, there we go. I got it. I got it. Hey, be careful with the jokes there. That's a little bit adult, I think. It's okay. It's just be careful. Might have been a little bit much. Alpha's updated status. OMG, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1. LOL, that's a joke, right? There's a piece of cheese inside the computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Bad opinion zone. <laughs> okay then. OMG, they, don't they just get at Rowan's Mew Mew's entire character arc? You know what? I should probably call. Whoops. I should probably call Papyrus. Ring, ring. Where did that table come from? Does it belong to the mouse? Asking the questions, Papyrus. Good job. Ring, ring. Eh? Alpha's updated status. I'm your mute, mute to review. Mew Mew Kissy Kitty 2 is neither kissy nor kitty. It's trash. Zero stars. Um. Dimensional box. Hey, I need to move some stuff around. Like that old tutu. Okay. Let us go onward. Hey, you! Stop! 
We've like received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Huh? What is it, bro? The shit they're wearing? Like, what about it? Bro, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is like mega embarrassing. We like actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Alrighty. The Royal Guard attacks. Let's check Royal Guard 1. Royal Guard member with shining polished armor. Yeah. They both look shiny. Like team attack. Team attack. Sweat pours from O2's armor. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Royal Guard member with stuffy armor. Like, prepare to die, right? Sigh. Let's clean the armor. It's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Like, you're dead and all. Getting warmer. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Much better. RG01 looks bothered by something. Mm Yahoo! Let's whisper. You tell RG1 to be honest with his feelings. I, I, heh. D -d Dude, I can't, I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, oh too. I like, I like, like you, bro. The way you fight, the way you talk. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you, bouncing and waving our weapons and sink. Zero two, I like want to stay like this forever. And what does he have to say for himself? Uh, I mean, uh, psych, gotcha, bro. <laughs> Zero one. Y yeah, bro. Do you want to? Get some ice cream after this. Sure, dude. <laughs> zero one and zero two are looking at each other happily. I love how this game treats love. Let's spare them and give them a chance to go on a date. And I get a hundred gold. Yeah. I should probably save. Yeah, doing good. Doing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. All right, right, right. Alpha's updated status. Oops, wait, how's the human doing? I'm doing fine. Alpha's updated status. Top 10 shoves that make you forget how to do your frickin' job. Oh boy. Here we go again. Ring. Okay, I'm back. Uh, another dark room, huh? Don't worry. M -m My hacking skills have got things covered. Are you serious? Oh, yes! Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. 
Fortunately, our correspondent is out there reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Nah, not the basketball. I know this game is literally dynamite. Let's go with the dog. What a sensational opportunity for a story! I can see the headline now. That dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report this one? Let's report it. Attention viewers! Our correspondent has found... A dog! Cue audience Oz. That's right, folks. It's the feel-good story of the year. Look at this little ears. It's little ears. Tiny paws. Fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's... A fuse. That's right. That dog is a bomb. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Thank you, Metaton. Oh my! It seems everything in this area is actually a bomb! That present's a bomb! That basketball's a bomb! Even my words are... Brave Correspondent, if you don't defuse all of the bombs, this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes! Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible! How disturbing! Our nine viewers are going to love watching this! Good luck, darling! Ring. Don't worry. I installed a bomb diffusing program on your phone. Use the diffuse option when the bomb is in the diffuse zone. Now go get them! Whoops, I don't want to fight. Diffuse. Dog diffused. Great job. Keep heading around the room. Try to go for the one in the bottom left next. Whoops. Diffuse the game. Game bomb. Bomb diffused. Yeah. Diffuse the script. Oh, I should have gone for the script. I didn't realize there's a script. Oh yeah, I gotta diffuse. Yeah. Diffuse that bomb. Diffuse the present. Bomb diffused. 35 seconds left. Diffuse the basketball. Diffuse sale. Tick. Yeah. Great job. Head for the center. I'm using uh em em fields to trap the glass of water there. Diffuse the extremely agile glass of water. Bomb diffused. With eight seconds to spare. Well done, darling! You've deactivated all of the bombs! If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes! Now it won't explode in two minutes! Instead it'll explode in two seconds! Goodbye, darling! Yeah, you're totally fine with the uh, bomb of a show. Ah! It seems the bomb isn't going off. Ring. That's people because while you were monologuing, I... I f f fix some... I ch change... Oh no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curses! It seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human! Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much! But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in! Until next time, darling! Well, wow, we really showed him, huh? Hey, I know I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more... 
I'm more... I'm more confident about guiding you. So... <coughs> excuse me. So, so, don't worry about that big dumb robot. I I'll protect you from him. And if you really came down to it, we could just turn... Um, never mind. Later! Hey, Rebecca. It's the bomb. Anything to be found? Let's call Papyrus. Ring, ring. I love the news. It's so informative. And full of cutthroat explosive action. I'm trying to remember. Wasn't I supposed to go over and see Dundine or something? You know what? I need to go back. Eventually. The Epic Core. Um, I noticed you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about meeting Asgore? Well, well, don't worry, okay? The King is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him and... Well, with your human soul, you can pass through the barrier. So, so, so no worrying, okay? Just, just forget about, about it and smile. Click. Um... I think I know where I'm going. Please choose location. Left floor one. I think this is the right way. A save. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Okay. Tra la la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yes. Let's go to Waterfall. Then we're off. And away we go! I thought the season 6 finale for MLP was pretty fun. It's kind of nice to see a bunch of ragtag characters do what they need to do. And I can't spoil much because some people might not have seen it yet. Ah. Oh. Okay. Come again sometime, tra la la. Um. Okay. This is where I go. Nope, that's not it. She's playing piano. Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you do great friends! Yeah, I'll hang out. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hey, Undyne. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... Ah. Why don't you two come in? Happy Papyrus. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So we're ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun! <laughs> Away he went. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No, I need to be kind of friends. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? 
Right? Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the friends field of friendship! Not? Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house! Dang! What a shame! I thought Undyne would be, could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus! Wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else! <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? One time, Alphys' uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. You're being kind of creepy. What? I'm not going to serenade you. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Humans suck, but the history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Sure. Heh, <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Dr. Al Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? Sit at the freaking table, you little nerd! Sit down and progress? Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Let's make our choices. I'll sit. What would you like? <laughs> hey! Don't get up! You're the guest! Sit down and enjoy yourself! Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear! Soda. Sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolates. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. What if I just liked hot chocolates? Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. I wonder. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Oh. Well then. Tea box. Splitly correct choice. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Yeah. Oh, point to her. Oh, I missed that. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea. 
it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I always I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming! I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked! Anyway, long story short, he kept, me tra he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard! So I'm the one who gets to train the dorks to fight! Like a papyrus! But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus to, into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's, that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not gonna have it, if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Good times. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over tomato. Yeah, yeah! All right, sir, I'm uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Uh, well, just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we have the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But if I just buy store brand, but I just buy store brand, they're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. I will carefully put them in the pot. You place the noodles in one piece at a time. They all clink against the empty bottom. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Press it repeatedly stir. Stir harder! 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 Ugh, let me do it! Just totally destroy the pot. <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back! 
All the right it all the bright to turn up the heat. Hotter Hotter, darn it. Hotter Wait, that's too Yeah, Undyne's one hot fish. Uh Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because... If we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care anymore if you're my... I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch! All out on both sides! It's the only way I can regain my lost pride! Now come on, hit me with all you've got! Yeah! And I was letting you make the first attack. Let's make a fig attack. You pretend to swing it, Undyne, with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart! Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to get let you go home. Eventually, some human will here will fall down. Eventually, some human, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Hello, Undyne1234. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Poor house. Poor fishy house. <clears throat> I need water. My voice is a little bit raw. Sounds like only fire lives here now. Because they got burned on the deal. You feel a calming tranquility. You are filled with determination. Now I'm going to restart the stream real quick. I need to cut off this little episode right here. And I want to say thank you for watching so far. I'll be right back with you. See you in the next video.